We're just trying to change the world here, people. Oh, really? Welcome to O'Reilly Radio, show 131C. This is our Law and Order segment, recorded Friday, November 4th, 2016. We're going to dismantle those current events for your edutainment through mostly rational conversations that make you go O'Reilly. I'm your host, Andy Cohen, with my usual suspects, David O'Connor, Stephen Griffith, and Amber Bitsekar. Welcome back. Okay. So, <clears throat> oh no, David's adding something. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we got a couple things. Uh, if you were listening in our earlier segments, we were talking about uh, about the elections, of course. And uh, there's a there's a bit of a kerfuffle with uh, the whole FBI uh, kind of getting all up into Hillary's email business again. Uh, all about this guy named Wiener. <laughs> yeah, let's be, let's be honest and correct. There's no reason for them to be trying to get back into her stuff because everything they're coming up with has absolutely nothing to do with her yeah um she's been amazingly uh, anti-stick she's teflon she's mm -hmm. absolute teflon they keep trying to do these things but the amazing new coating on her pantsuits is just nothing will stick <laughs> it's amazing she's, she's either <laughs> the most brilliant criminal mastermind of any century in history or it's all bs yeah <laughs> um <laughs> that that's the only two ways we can realistically go at this point exactly the gop has spent i think close to 35 years and over half a billion dollars trying to get something to stick on this woman yeah now now let's and has failed now let's let's paraphrase a little bit here because she is shady. <clears throat> oh, yeah. A lot of things that she has done are uh, questionably uh, unethical. Uh -huh. Right. However, <laughs> for something to be legal, it doesn't necessarily have to be ethical. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So and she's a smart lawyer who has always stayed within the law. So even if she's completely unethical, she hasn't broken the law. At least, not so far as to actually have her indicted, or brought up on any charges, oh, or thirty-five years of investigations and half a billion dollars has shown. I mean, there there are people guilty. that there are people that think that she had people murdered. Yeah. I yeah. still hear that. Um, yeah, the number is somewhere around fifty people that she has had off. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, she's I'm, Hillary Squarepants the, Linton, so... The Hillary Squarepants <laughs> would be just rolling in their... Graves. That is the title of the episode. Hillary Kill Squarepants Clinton. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because it'll get hits. Um. Excellent. <laughs> here's a girl, you know, honestly, if I have a presidential candidate who sort of fits with my policies and is able to kill 50 people, and after 35 <laughs> years of investigations, nothing's come about them? I'm like, all right, they can probably run the freaking country. She's playing a real life game of Hitman. Yeah, <laughs> just she's doing good. Just she's let doing her well. do her thing, guys. So, um, Only eight years of your life. <laughs> but you know that uh, that doesn't uh, prevent other parties from getting butt hurt over the well, whole thing. Well, let me let me rephrase it. It's only eight years or your life. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I think he's got a surprise or two oh. that you're going to need in the next few days. <laughs> Hang on. Now. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so. <laughs> with um, <laughs> recent investigations, uh, James Comey, the uh, head of the FBI, kind of stepped in it on purpose, and, and then he doubled down. And then doubled down. Yeah. yeah. So it's 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 not gotten any better here. When really we're looking, at it, it's like what? Why? It's how does how is this working? He he spoke directly to. The opposition party, and it turns out, good old Rudy Giuliani has confirmed that FBI insiders have leaked information to the Trump campaign, which I believe is both unethical and illegal. If it is an actual active ongoing investigation, I do believe, yes, it is illegal. And well, there's also the Hatch Act, remember. Where you can't, you're not allowed to 
uh, do things that would negate, well, uh, uh, interfere, influence. In, inter influence and interfere with an election within a certain time frame. Um, mm -hmm. Go go ahead, look up Hatch Act. We, we've spoken of it uh, previously, and I, I don't uh, I don't feel like pulling it up and reading it yet again to everyone. Uh, but Rudy Giuliani on Friday said that uh, he knew the FBI planned to review more emails tied to Hillary Clinton before a public announcement about the investigation last week, confirming that the agency leaked information to Donald Trump's presidential campaign. Uh, the former New York City mayor and Trump surrogate has recently dropped a series of hints that he knew in advance that the FBI planned to look at emails potentially connected to Clinton's private server. Which, as we know, that that's not the thing. Yeah, allegedly. Um, okay. The agency discovered messages while investigating former Representative Anthony Weiner, Democrat New York, for allegedly sexting with a minor. Weiner's estranged wife, Huma Abedin, is a top aide and a very good friend of uh, Hillary Clinton. So, oh, Giuliani bragged about his uh, close ties to the FBI for months, mentioning in interviews that outright outraged FBI agents have told him they're frustrated at how the Clinton investigation was handled. And two days before FBI Director James Comey announced that the agency was reviewing the newly uncovered emails, Giuliani teased that Trump's campaign had a couple of surprises left. So he could just be full of it and taking credit for something that has happened. Well, it's Rudy Giuliani. That wouldn't be surprising if, it, if exactly. that was the case. Exactly. Yeah. And since he hasn't outright said it, you know, him confirming that he knew something that he might not have known, but he didn't disclose himself, you know, that's kind of... It's, I knew that, but did yeah. you know that I knew that you knew that I knew that? <laughs> Very good, David. That is it. That is it right there. Uh, it's something that he couldn't be brought up on charges for. Because he didn't leak it himself. He didn't use it himself. He just insinuated that he might know something, but he didn't ever disclose it until after the fact. And then he said, oh, yeah, I knew that. Yeah, we knew, we knew all about that. Yeah, but then, no, I... <laughs> but then saying that we knew all about it beforehand, is that enough? I, I don't know. That's uh, that's hard. That's that's hard to say. And as long as we don't give it to the prosecutors for uh, for the Bundys, I think we'll we'll probably be okay. Because um, mm. they'll just generate a terrible case about the whole thing. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, what do you guys think about about the the renewed interest in? Yet more emails. I think it's I, I, bullshit. <laughs> I'm going to quote uh, Bernie Sanders here. The country's <laughs> tired of hearing about your damn emails. Sick and tired of hearing mm -hmm. about your damn emails. <laughs> they are. They are. I am. For sure. Especially Basically, as IT people. Yeah. As right. technically savvy <clears throat> IT people that deal with emails for a living. We get paid to do this stuff. This is so annoying <laughs> because they're reporting it wrong in many cases. Um, yeah. So unless I misunderstood, aren't isn't this new batch emails that she didn't even send nor receive? Correct. Yes, correct. They they were, she the was not copied on them. She did not respond to them. They did not hit her inbox. They're she did not, not send on them. her server. They had nothing to do with Benghazi. They had nothing to do with 9-11. Nothing to do with anyone <laughs> yeah. related I to mean, that. It's but, like, like, what in the lemon-scented fuck do they think they're going to do with this? <laughs> they're going to get headlines. <laughs> and those are headlines do... are, are just bringing up all of the, the I knew it, I knew she was dirty, and they're feeding the they coyotes. Got the headlines and they got the, they got the base riled up for another week. Yeah, uh, that's the key right point. point. It's not about how much they're going to influence other people and everything else. It's about keeping the base pissed off and how as much, rapid uh, as possible. Okay, so... And I guess, I mean, it's also the fact that people won't read that far into the article. Yes. They'll just glance at the headline, so... Yeah. Sorry, Okay. Yep. Clickbait. How much does the a 30-second TV commercial cost? 
I mean, it, it oh, depends on the market. Depends. Uh, Local television others. stations typically charge from 200 to 1500 to create a 30-second commercial. National commercials produced by an advertising agency cost far more, averaging $342,000 for a 30-second spot in 2008, according to the American Association of Advertising Agencies. Thank you, That was Google. eight years ago. Yeah, that was eight years ago, so it's probably more... We'll call it four hundred thousand dollars for a commercial, a thirty-second spot, and that's Natural. to have it produced. That's not to have it aired. Okay. So, if you're a campaign that is hemorrhaging money with somebody that doesn't want to spend any of their own money, how do you keep the base engaged? You create news because news mm -hmm. is free. Yep. Well, again, I remember the thing we had before where it was Trump had received over $2 billion, essentially, of free advertising because of these news yeah. clickbaits and everything else. Yeah. Yep. And based on that number right there, yeah, billions is right. That's, that's how much that's worth. So why do we keep hearing about emails? Because Trump wants you to keep hearing about emails as anything negative – about Hillary, that's he just wants negative press on Hillary. Period. Mm -hmm. Negative press. Negative press. Negative press. Because it's, as long it's as you about hate her, facts. you'll vote for me. It's not about the facts of the thing. It's about your feelings yep. of about the thing. Yeah. And the GOP has their base riled up to feeling, I hate everything about Hillary. Yeah. Continuously, they no longer look at facts. They are just convinced that she's dirty, rotten, terrible person, and that's it. That's all there is. Yep. It doesn't matter what Trump says or does at this point. She's the the worst devil. Andy, I, I almost need to reach through the screen right now and grab that uh, wonderful tinfoil pagoda hat from you <laughs> and put it on myself. Um, I'll wear it for right you. I'm, okay, I'm going to borrow some of David's thing. Okay. <laughs> yep, go in there. Here, here's an interesting thought. Okay. Anybody who pays attention to this realizes that most Republican establishment cannot stand Trump, but they're going, all right, but he's our candidate, so we kind of have to stand behind him. Mm -hmm. Okay. We also know that there are these trials that are coming up, which would be if he got – if he was convicted, they would be federal crime charges, which would keep you from being president. So he gets elected. He then goes to trial for these things. He is then found guilty. Thus, he is no longer able to be president. Thus, Mike Pence becomes president. Mm -hmm. Just as planned. Oh, yeah, I've thought about that. And it, it that scares me almost as much as the Trump presidency in general, because uh, Pence is a horrible person. Yeah. But if, the, if that's the way it comes out, I'll be like, Part of me is horrified. Part of me is going, damn, that's some serious Machiavellian planning there. Well done. I hate you, but well done. <laughs> um, I think it'd be like plan C. You know, something that they would go with in case it happened. If, if he is convicted of a crime after he is sworn in as president. Yeah. Does that... Is that enough to force him out? Or can he simply pardon himself for that crime? No, you cannot <laughs> pardon yourself. I don't think. He's the president of the United States. But even the president's not he's, supposed he's to be He's got some extra powers that most people don't have. Okay, I'll ask the Google. Ask the Google. Can it's the never president... Just looking it, up. it has never been done, to the best of my knowledge, but The Wall Street he? Journal just ran an article on this called Can, can a President Self-Pardon? Wow, one day ago. Yeah, Wall Street yeah. Journal. The short answer to whether the Constitution permits self-pardoning is yes, it probably does. Mm. This is the prevailing but by no means unanimous opinion among legal experts. It's because the way the president shall have power to grant reprieves and pardons for offenses against the United States, except in cases of impeachment. Which is Article 2, Section 2, Clause 1. Which means but if he got... If a he criminal was trial is not an things. impeachment, though. 
That's no, different. but if he was, if we got brought, well, he's going to be brought to criminal trial on December. And if it starts going through, then and he is going to be convicted, be then they can try to impeach him, which they might want to do because then if he gets out, Pence is now president. Now, uh, Bill Clinton's top lawyer in 1998 ruled out a self-pardon because it was looked into, apparently. Uh, Judge Posner wrote that he didn't necessarily have to, though. Uh, Posner said it was generally, it has generally been inferred front and breadth of the constitutional language that the president can indeed pardon himself. And although this conclusion has been challenged, it is unlikely that the present Supreme Court would be bold enough in the teeth of the constitutional language to read into the pardon clause an exception for self-pardoning. Unlikely, but not inconceivable. Oh boy. Pardon power isn't unlimited, as the constitutional text makes clear. It may be exercised to avoid state or local criminal proceedings or to elude impeachment. Absent these limitations, the president's authority to grant pardons is essentially unfettered. Uh, a pardon may be bestowed at any time after the commission of an offense, irrespective of whether the charges have actually been pressed. Wow. So you can be you can be pardoned for a crime that the that is known about but has not been prosecuted. That you have mm -hmm. not been found out for. So this would be the um license to kill scenario. Mm -hmm. It's the Spooner Cell Fifth Freedom. Man, our country's cool, isn't it? We got all sorts of weird laws and rules and things that we could just dig through for years. Well, the uh, the out. Queen of England just offered to take us back, so was that. <laughs> was that legitimate? That was, absolutely. Really? Oh, God. Yeah, I, well, I mean, like, she was obviously being... Cheeky. You know, yeah. <laughs> it was not, like, a legitimate offer, but it was, she actually did, yeah, say it. Well, you know, since since you've transitioned us so neatly to England, let's talk about the Brexit, shall we? You're welcome. Uh, you've done that so well. The Brexit plans in disarray as High Court rules Parliament must have its say. Stephen, I know that you've got something to say about this. I just know uh, that you do. It might not be pleasant, but you've got something to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, part of it is along the lines of the... We've been... It's something when Brexit was originally announced, and I think on the show we even mentioned it going, that there's going to be some clause, something thrown in there that will allow the UK to just go, nope, haha, just kidding, we're not actually doing that. Yeah. This, what essentially I'm reading here with what the High Court has said, is essentially it's like, okay, you dipped your toes in the water, did you like it? Here's your opportunity to say no. So we can get out of this mm. shit show that we're about to dive headfirst into. And by the way, <laughs> would you like a mulligan for pool. that? <laughs> yes. Yeah, like, we didn't fill the pool. Do you really want to try to do a two and a half tuck gainer off of this yeah. thing? <laughs> no, no skateboard. The options there. Yeah. No skateboard. But, no, no, yeah. no. This is a diving course. <laughs> yeah. Um, Parliament alone has the power to trigger Brexit by notifying Brussels of the UK's intention to leave the European Union, the High Court has ruled. The judgment, which is available in a PDF through the links on our webpage at O'ReillyRadio.com for show 131, delivered by the Lord Chief Justice, Lord Thomas of... That's... There's too many consonants in that word. I cannot... Nope. Brain. I'm betting he's Welsh. Brain stopped. Yeah. It's like... Uh, C... Yet? C W M G I E D D. I cannot pronounce that. Okay. Is likely to slow the pace of Britain's departure from the EU and is a huge setback for Theresa May, who has insisted the government alone would decide when to trigger the process. The Lord Chief Justice 
I just I love saying that the Lord Chief Justice Lord said that Justice. the most fundamental rule of the UK Constitution is that Parliament is sovereign. So um, a government spokesperson said ministers would appeal to the Supreme Court against the decision. The hearing will take place on December seventh and eighth. So we've got to, we will hear about this next month, guys. Next month. Um, the the court does not accept the argument put forward by the government there is nothing in the 1972 european communities act to support it in the judgment of the court the argument is contrary both to the language used by parliament in the 1972 act and the fundamental principles of the sovereignty of parliament and the absence of any entitlement on the part of the crown to change domestic law by the exercise of its prerogative powers. And that was right. He so basically, from Wales. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's like, whoa, that's a word that isn't pronounceable in English. Okay, there it is. <laughs> so, Lord um, Thomas needs more vowels. Yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Lord Thomas <Yeah>. of Word. <laughs> I'm going to call it Chamagin. Welshland. <laughs> <laughs> I looked it up and I heard somebody pronounce it. It's uh, uh, Kumgid. Kumgid? Mm -hmm. Kumgid. That makes sense. So w, a w similar w's to a U. Use, yeah, with umlauts and all sorts of hyphens and things. Okay, cool. Okay, Kumgid. Fun. Um, now, we, we were investigating the, the whole Brexit thing and wondering whether or not the Queen could just say, no. <laughs> and yes, she can. Yes. She absolutely can. That is within her powers to do. However, she is uh, she is quite content to let to let Parliament play and be the sovereign um, ambassador. However, what what they were saying there was that uh, and the absence of any entitlement on the part of the Crown to change domestic law by the exercise of its prerogative powers. So basically, that's the since she's not doing it, we'll do it. And we don't like yeah. that. This is what we've said. So there. So, um, so odds are that the Brexit, I think, is going to fail. I don't think the Brexit's Again, going to happen, and I didn't think it was going to happen after all, anyway. Well, considering how many banks have either said they're going to leave or have already left. Yeah. And the fact that the Brexit might actually shatter the UK. Oh yeah, it's yeah. nothing but bad. <clears throat> I mean, the yeah. worst the worst thing ever was after the vote happened, people wanted to know what it was about. <laughs> what I also love is you had that bus going around that said, "Hi, we're going to save and be able to have 350 million pounds a year back mm -hmm. into the United States, back into the government for the NHS." I think they were saying a and, month. It may have been a yeah. month, but yeah, it was it was even more ludicrous than that. Mm -hmm. But it's the idea of the. Uh, and they come. Oh no, guys! That 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 wasn't right. That was a lie. Uh, that, that, that was. We didn't mean to like that. Like um. That was just like you know, placeholder text. You shouldn't have run with that. That was just a number. We we just we we just we hit the keyboard like this and da 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 da. da. Uh, that's not a number. <laughs> oh, so the Brexit may or may not. Oh, sorry. Happen. It was even worse than that. Three hundred and fifty million a week. Oh, damn. wow! Oh, snap! That's impressive. That's an I'd impressive. I'd like three hundred fifty million a week for a week. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> when when phrased that way, if somehow you're going to get that money, you want that money. <laughs> when phrased well, that guess, way, yeah. I guess it's uh, you know heartening in the way that misery loves company to know that America is not the only ones who will believe pretty much anything as long as it fits their narrative yeah. Oh, yeah the media has made great strides in part because of our knowledge of psychology <laughs> at, yeah. at at controlling the population and making them predictable so yeah. there's hmm. that if that's exciting yeah uh, it <laughs> it's something it's something i don't know if it's super, <laughs> super exciting it's something yeah Okay, so we do have one more story there, but you know what? I think we'll move this down to good ideas, which we'll oh. get to just now. 